hello hello dear viewers welcome to our channel it's very good to have you here in this video we are going to see 11 causes of engine overheating the cooling system is designed to maintain the operating temperature of the engine it will maintain a maximum value of engine temperature if the engine temperature is exceeds that maximum value we say the engine is overheating the cooling system is designed also to make sure that the engine reaches that operating temperature as soon as possible by preventing coolant flow to the radiator unless the thermostat is opened, which is when we have that operating temperature reached. Then by doing so, the engine cooling system will allow the engine to attain that cooling temperature as soon as possible. Now, there are different causes leading to engine overheating number one insufficient coolant in the system if the cooling system is not sufficiently filled up that will cause engine overheating as the heat that will be dissipated to the coolant will be restricted by the value of by the volume of water inside the cooling system if there is insufficient coolant in the system that will definitely lead to engine overheating the second cause of engine overheating is faulty thermostat. If the thermostat is stuck closed, that will prevent coolant flow to the radiator. And if coolant is not flowing to the radiator, heat dissipation will be restricted because the radiator is acting like a heat exchanger. That is where the coolant give up its heat. Now, if that circulation is restricted by a stuck closed thermostat, that will cause engine overheating. The third cause of engine overheat is when there is a problem on the radiator itself. If the radiator core is blocked, for example, or if there is restriction on the grill of the radiator, that will cause engine overheating. That will tamper the circulation of water. Coolant circulation will be restricted, so that will cause engine overheating. The number four cause of engine overheating on electrically driven fans if the electric cooling fan or sensor are faulty you know there is a temperature sensing switch that will turn on the electric fans once the engine cooling temperature is attained if there is a problem with that switch if there is a problem with that sensor that will also lead to engine overheating the fifth cause of engine overheating is related to the cooling fan if the fan blades are broken or if there are some cracks and uh, deformation on the fan blade that will also lead to engine overheating it is the fan that pulls air through the radiator if somehow that is not working properly or if there are broken and missing fan blades that will lead to engine overheating number six in accurate temperature gauge or temperature sensor Sometimes if there is a problem with the temperature sensor itself, it will report a misinformed value. Incorrect value will be displayed on the coolant temperature gauge. So inaccurate temperature gauge or temperature sensor can also be a reason indicating that the engine is overheating. Number seven, if there is an airlock in the cooling system. You know, the, air, the cooling system has to be pressurized with a full coolant, liquid coolant. If somehow there is an airlock in the cooling system, air will not dissipate heat well when it compared to water. Water is a very nice heat dissipating device media. But when it comes to air, air lock in the cooling system can also lead to engine overheating. Number eight, if there is a problem with the engine management system. If there is a problem with the engine management system controlling the different uh, operating parameters of the engine, that will also lead to engine overheating. For example, if the ignition timing is to be controlled by the engine management system, if the fuel injection timing is to be controlled by the engine management system, and if that is not properly timed, that will also lead to engine overheating for example a very delayed combustion can lead to engine overheating because once the piston has traveled further from the tdc position from the combustion chamber if maximum temperature is attained by that time that will lead to much area of the engine to be exposed to that maximum temperature 
that will also lead to engine overheating so number eight is problem on the engine management system number nine will be the problem on the water pump if there is a problem with the water pump itself if there are damaged or broken blades for example if the drive belt of the water pump is defective or if it is not properly adjusted if it is a belt driven type water pump and if that is not properly adjusted if there is a loose water pump belt that will also lead to engine overheating you know the water pump is like a heart that pumps and uh, a low circulation of coolant to the engine components to the radiator as well so if there is a problem with the water pump and the way it is driven that will also lead to engine overheating number 10 problem with the radiator cap the radiator cap if it is not maintaining proper pressure on the cooling system that can also lead to engine overheating the radiator cap is there to maintain some preset pressure on the cooling system when the cooling system is pressurized the boiling point will increase coolant loss to the outside will be restricted so if there is a problem with the radiator cap if the radiator cap is not capable of maintaining that pressure we will lose liquid coolant and that will cause engine overheating so if the if you suspect the radiator cap is not working properly you can have it pressure tested the radiator cap can be pressure tested and it can be checked to see if it is working properly or not it has to seal pressure and if there is vacuum developing inside the cooling system it will it has to allow admittance of another coolant from the expansion tank or if it is vented to the atmosphere it should allow admittance of air into the system that is to compensate for the shrinkage that is happening as the engine cools down if the engine is running hot however it is designed to maintain maximum pressure for example it could be 0.9 bar it could be one bar that pressure has to be maintained with the radiator cap if that is not working correctly that will also be an engine overheating cause and finally number 11 improper ignition timing if the ignition timing is not correctly adjusted that can also lead to engine overheating if for example the ignition timing is retarded for example that can also cause engine overheating if the engine timing is retarded the maximum combustion temperature will be reaching many areas wide areas for example if the piston has traveled a little down from the TDC that maximum combustion temperature will be on the piston on the cylinder head and on some parts of the engine block that will cause much volume of the engine to be exposed to that maximum temperature and that will lead to engine overheating so these are 11 causes leading to engine overheating if you are feeling your engine is overheating if you suspect that there is a problem with the engine cooling system related to overheating so this could be either of this problem 11 of these can cause engine overheating so that's all we have for you in this presentation if you like this video smash the like button if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification so that you will be notified you will be the first to know whenever we come up with another video till then stay safe